Welcome to another geometry lesson. And we are going to talk about the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So instead of a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we're going to, and, and we're, instead of using that formula to figure out what the sides of a triangle are, we're going to ask if we actually have a right triangle based on the sides that we're given. So we have eight squared plus 15 squared. And the question is, does this equal 17 squared? I have a feeling that's gonna be the nature of most of these problems in this section, right? It's just checking that we've got a triangle. If it has these sides, then it is a right triangle, right? So the Pythagorean theorem says that a right triangle has the property that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And this says that any triangle that has that property is a right triangle, right? Blah, blah, blah. You have to check this. So this is 64 plus 225, which is 289. And what's 17 squared? Well. 289, so yes. Okay, how about 5, 12, and 13? So does 5 squared plus 12 squared equal 13 squared? Well, this is 25. This is 144, this is 169. It is true that 25 plus 144 equals 169. So, yes. Okay, how about this? Well, we've got 12. 16 and 20. Now there's a shortcut for this one, but let's do it out, right? So 12 squared plus 16 squared, does it equal 20 squared? All right, so this is 144. This is 256. And this is 400. And it is the case that 256 plus 144 does equal 400. I, I'm just adding, right? I'm adding the 200 and the 100, and then the 56 and the 44, they, like, they work out neatly, six and four and 10, five and four is 90, so it adds up to 100, right? So you get 400. But the other thing you can do is you can say, if I divide all these by four, that's gonna give me three, four, five, so it's similar to a three, four, five triangle, and we know that a three, four, five triangle is a right triangle. So either way, the answer is yes. Okay, we know three, four, five triangles are right. So let's go ahead and, and use the formula. Three squared plus four squared equals nine plus 16 equals 25 which does equal five squared. So we knew that, we wanted to check. Okay, again, we can, we can immediately apply the trick here, right? Six, eight, 10. If we divide everything by two, we'll get three, four, five, so we know it's right. But let's do it with the formula. So we have six squared, plus eight squared. So what's that? It's 36. What's eight squared? 64. So does this equal 10 squared? Yes, 64 plus 36 equals 100. Okay, 
A triangle has sides with length of 8 feet, 12 feet, and 12 feet. Well, we already know this isn't going to be right. If you just if you just draw it out, it just doesn't feel right. 12, 12, 8. I mean, it, this has to be to scale, right? So, yeah, you never know. Maybe I'm wrong. But it doesn't feel like it is to me. Okay. So let's do the math. So there's also another, there, there's another reason why it can't be, right? You, you have to have a longest side in a right triangle. You can't have two sides that are the same. You can't have two longest sides in a right triangle. So if you did eight squared, it just makes the math impossible, right? Eight squared, how could eight squared plus 12 squared equal 12 squared? It, it, it just can't. You don't even have to do this out, right? If you subtract, 12 squared from both sides, you'll get 8 squared equals 0, which that just can't be, right? So, no. A lot of reasons why that can't be, right? Okay, a triangle has sides with lengths 2, 9, and 14. Is it a right triangle? This we have to be more honest about, right? So we do 2 squared plus 9 squared. That's 4 plus 81, which is 85. And 14 squared is 140 plus, yeah, it's 196. So 14 squared is 196. We can, we can work it out, but you believe me. Yeah, you don't even have to work it out because it's bigger than 10 squared, right? And what's 10 squared? 10 squared is 100, right? So this is 85. Even if you don't know exactly what 14 squared is, it's not equal to 85. So, no. A triangle has sides with lengths of 8, 9, and 13. Is it a right triangle? Okay, let's see. So we have 8 squared plus 9 squared. Eight squared plus nine squared. That'll give us sixty-four plus eighty-one, which is one forty-five. And thirteen squared. is 169. So that's kind of a closer call. You kind of need to, to do the math out there. And the answer is no. Four, seven, and 15. Okay, four squared plus seven squared equals 15 squared? No way. This is 16. This is 49. This is huge, right? This is 225. Again, it doesn't matter. It's bigger than 100, right? Think logically. It's bigger than 100. Who cares what it actually exactly is? This is less than 100. That's bigger than 100. Game over. They're not equal. Okay, again, our shortcut here might help. No. So we have 10, 12, 15. If we divided everything by 2, we get 5, 6, 3. Sorry. Right. Oh, we can't divide everything by 2. Forget it. Okay. So let's do... Ten squared plus twelve squared equals question mark fifteen squared. I think it's gonna be close, but I know it's not right, just because I know it's not a triple off the top of my head. One hundred plus one forty four, and this is two twenty five. So this is 244, and this is not equal to 225. But that's pretty close. So if you drew a triangle that was 
10, 12, and 15, it would look pretty close to right, even if it's not. Okay, y'all. Hope you had fun. Pythagorean theorem, great theorem. Look up the proof. Look up a cool video. And I'll see you next time.